Oh, 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 oh. So this is our new feature, the trailer vault. Yes. The vault of the trailers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so the first trailer that we're going to analyze is um, the new X-Men movie, Dark Phoenix. And I think Magneto said it best. You always make the same speech, <laughs> Charles. Nobody cares. I mean, you get that feeling that nobody cares about this movie. I don't care about it. I mean, that's the feeling that I get. I really don't care about it anymore. Even yeah. though it's one of my favorite storylines in the X-Men universe. Yeah. But it just seems like it's always really just the same thing and the action looks clunky. A lot of people standing around. <laughs> yeah, I, that's the thing. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Like, why can't they have dynamic action in the X-Men movies? It's always like this. They're standing there and then somebody attacks something and the other people are standing. And then, okay, is it my turn now? Okay, now I'm going. So they don't have this sort of like an interactive action sequences in it that are really good. Yeah, group dynamic. That, yeah. That, that they did really well in the comic books. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, Dark Phoenix is also one of my favorite storylines mm. in the books, and and I'm sort of I understand that they've taken the space element out of it. Yeah, because they haven't really built up to it at all mm. in the previous movies. But I'm still sort of missing that. Are they though taking that out? Because I well, read. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, based, just based on the uh, based on the the trailer, I'm not speaking about anything else. It, it just se seemed from the trailer that it's very, very earth based and very sort of grounded, because uh, the the original Dark Phoenix saga was completely yeah, off it was, the rails yeah, in, the, in space. But I did read that there is like an that it happens in space. Oh, some okay. of it, and All there's right. like an alien race involved, okay. maybe. Okay. Yeah. So well, that that'll be good if yeah. they stay true to the comic origins. Yeah. Um, another problem is that a lot of the young actors playing the parts just yeah they're just not as good as as the seasoned ones. Yeah, because it does take a lot of dramatic weight. Yeah. To be like Cyclops or Jean Grey. Yeah. in this movie and it's the difference between a Michael Fassbender and uh, the younger actors is really like um, it's yeah, a significant it's huge. Di di yeah it's yeah. Huge. yeah and it's it's I mean I understand that and they have to do that and I've been thinking about this in terms of the Avengers as well now that they're gonna mm. probably get rid of Captain America and, mm. and Sebastian Stan maybe no. he's got like a nine picture deal so he might be the mm. next Captain America and, and I'm thinking he's just not going to be as good as Chris Evans. No. It's just, it just, it's, it's kind of, sometimes it can happen that it's better that way around, but most of the time it just, it, at least it takes time for people to get used to it. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And I think this movie has that distinct feel of being the last movie before the merger with yeah. the larger Marvel yeah. Cinematic Universe. But in terms of what you said that you don't care anymore, I, I mean, I, I've stopped, I stopped caring <laughs> in the last yeah. movie. I mean, Apocalypse was just... And it's, it's such a waste. Yeah. Because he's such a good villain. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Such a good actor as well. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Completely wasted.